Pat love with Pat's two cents. Proverbs chapter 6 verses 16 through 19. <clears throat> Excuse me. Followed by Pat's two cents. These six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. A lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and running to mischief, a false witness, <clears throat> excuse me, that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Mm, mm, mm. Now, Pat's two cents. We don't realize how common this is among people. It is common in society. It's, it's a common behavioral pattern. But <clears throat> this is something God's not happy with. So if you're doing any of these, I think you better rethink your plan. Because God ain't winking. God's not chuckling. And God's not smirking behind his hand. You know, there's a scripture right above that that says, Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. See, we think that because it looks like God is letting us slip and slide and we're getting away with murder and people don't know and they're too dumb to get it that, you know, ain't nothing going to happen, can't touch this. But guess what? Oh, yes. Everybody has a bill to pay. Everybody has a debt to resolve. You hear me? And they used to say in the streets, and I say to you, in, in the presence of God, don't write no check your behind can't cover. And see, that's what we do. We go through life and we look down on people. Some of us are narcissistic. We're full of ourselves. Hello. We lie at the drop of a hat. Some of us are involved in things that get people killed, even high up in government. Heart that devises wicked imagination. Some of you, you come up, you conjure up all kind of mischief. You come up with mess. You can figure out how to rip somebody off in a minute, how to take a senior citizen's life savings and you laugh. Huh, all the way to the bank. But God ain't laughing. He's looking and he's booking, but he's not laughing. Your feet run into mischief. You tell lies on people. You bear false witness. You, you spread all kind of gossip. You don't care if it's true or not. You just like telling the juicy stuff. Let the chips fall where they may. It ain't your problem. Really. And the one thing God can't stand besides those that lie is he that sows discord among brethren. There are people out there that will spread so much junk, they will break up long-term friendships. And they love doing so because they like the drama. They like the mess. They like the melodrama. They like all of the upheaval, the chaos, the, oh, they love explosions. And what you don't realize is that God, he doesn't like any of it. He's not entertained. He doesn't think it's cute. And there'll come a day when you have to answer for the friendships you've broken up. You'll have to answer for the lies you've told on people. 
you'll have to answer for the treachery, the underhanded games, the ripoffs. You'll have to answer for it. You're not paying now, but God's tallying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. See, one thing about it, just because something is asleep, don't mean it's dead. Just because something is silent, doesn't mean it's death. And that's the same with God. God sees and he knows every detail. He even knows why you do what you do. He knows why you say what you say. So, my warning to you, stop, repent, nip that stuff in the bud before God gets to nipping at your behind. It won't be fun. You won't be giggling, laughing, and smirking. No, you'll be crying bloody murder when God gets a hold of you. One thing you never want to do is find yourself in the hands of an angry God.